Hey, Falcon Nation, voice of the Falcons, Mike Ricker, back here at Falcon Media Day, wrapping up our interviews with Antonio Alfano. Antonio, long road for you to get to Scranton, PA. Alabama, of course, I knew of you when you were at the University of Colorado. I'm independent, and now you're here at Lackawanna College, ready to wreak some havoc. Um, are you ready to actually get on the field and play football again? Yeah, man, it's been a long time. Um, it's been, what, almost three years. Okay. So, um, you know, I'm kind of, I was actually talking to Coach Dude, I'm like a little nervous, but I, like that good nervous, you right. know, not, yep. a, not a bad nervous. It's, uh, you know, kind of just itching to get back out there, kind of, you know, wanting to hear the whistles of the refs, you know, right. just get out there, you know, just go go get somebody else for once instead of hitting your teammates. Yeah. So I'm surprised you're wearing four instead of five since you were a five-star dude coming out of high school. So, you know, since you had those five stars, you know, coming out of high school a couple of years ago, um, does that seem to give you more pressure now? Like, all right, this is my one real chance to remind everyone who I was and what I did. Yeah. So it's, it, this is kind of like a, like a take it, take it or leave it season for okay. me. You're like, um, go hard or go home. Um, cause this, this level of competition, you know, it's not where I was before. So if, if I want to show, show anybody or, you know, prove to anyone that I am the same player before, right. you know, it's kind of to have a record, record breaking season. So that's what I'm do you feel do. like you're that same dude. Do you feel like you're that Honestly, same player? I feel like I'm better. Okay. I feel good. like I'm better. Maybe, um, Maybe like uh, athletically, like I'm pretty much the same, okay. But whatnot. Um, but I think that just my knowledge for the game, and, you know, right. playing it for so long, I'm seeing myself do things. Are like, you? Do you appreciate football now more than you've been away from it for for a little while? Is it just to like say, all right, this is what I've missed my entire, you know, since 2019. Yep, exactly. So it's more. Uh, so when these guys come up to me and they're like, "Hey, man, like." I see you do this move. Like, how did you do this? I don't know why. Right. Maybe I have a good future in coaching. Okay. But that kind of gives me a little bit of a push. Like, this is something I'm supposed to do. All right. Awesome. So. And then, uh, you know, being at the levels that you're at, you've actually have obviously had some great coaching and great mm -hmm. coach, part of great coaching staffs. Um, talk about Coach Duda, though, former defense alignment in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Like, has he taken you under his wing a little bit and, yeah. you know, give you some pointers? And how has that relationship been? Yeah, actually, it's been great. Um, I love Coach Duda. Uh, he's – He's one of a he's a one of a kind coach. I feel like every coach is a one of a kind right. coach. Right, but he is but one, one of, of a, a kind, kind coach exactly yeah. because he's been to where I want to go. Right, you know he's done the things that I want to do and um, just you know kind of kind of same thing like Coach Saban in okay. a way like because he because he's he's actually Coach Dude has actually played my position. Right, Coach Saban's seen so many Hall of Famers come through his program. Right. So whenever you do a play run and play in front of him or whatever kind of drill, you're kind of like oh snap, what is he thinking? Like right, I wonder yeah. what he's thinking. How I just did so kind of like. Coach Duda, too, because right. he plays my position. Whenever I do a rep or I take a snap or something like that, I'm like, damn, how did he think I just did on that? Right, yeah. he'll, he'll come over to me and literally it, break it, it down. He, he yeah. with just being around him for, you know, gosh, I've been here for too long now, but yeah. 70 years, he loves, like, teaching the game of football. You he know, can, so he'll talk football for yeah. 24 hours straight. And he'll sweat his him. tail off yeah. doing and stuff, yeah. too. All right, talk about yeah. presence, right? So you've had Nick, you've been around Nick Saban. You've been around mm -hmm. Coach Duda. Who has the greater presence? Who, who brings bigger presence into the room? I mean, now one is a good one's going to affect your playing time, so you know, be careful. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, <laughs> I was like, look, Coach Duda. I'm sure he'd understand though, because you know Nick Saban does have a couple national. Teams I was going to say, so. gonna, and I'm putting you on the spot with that one. Because at least with Coach Duda, you get like a you get a reaction. Okay, you, he'll tell you something. Right, Coach Saban will just keep his hands crossed yeah. and you know, yeah, walk you just away. have to read his nonverbal skills yeah. and stuff too. Yeah. So. Um, just tell us a little bit, Antonio Alfano. Any other sports you played besides football growing up, or was it just always football? Yeah, I wrestled. I was a three-time state champ, New Jersey state champ. Okay. Uh, I was 220 and then two heavyweight state okay. titles. And then, um, yeah, I wrestled my whole entire life. I mean, when I was younger, kids, soccer, swimming, dancing, okay. the whole all, nine. All that stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then what kind of music are you listening to? Oh, um, what is it called? Uh, I was just listening to listening to it on my phone to calm me down. Like before a game is okay. done, I kind of listen to like I call it um, elevator music. Okay, all right. You know what I'm? You yeah, know I got gotcha. you. I, yeah. I hear you and stuff too. So that's kind of what you're. That's kind of what you're chilling to. The yeah. game, you know, calm yourself down, getting ready for the game. Yep. And then, what's your favorite thing about being in Scranton besides Lackawanna College and playing football? You know, since you've being been here for the last Scranton. you know couple months. Well, I can tell you that I found this really really good spot. They should sponsor me. <laughs> um, it's called downtown, uh, downtown Delhi. Delhi. We eat there from all the time and we, yeah. we got some connections there too. Yeah. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll give them, we're always giving them plugs when we do yeah. interviews. So downtown <laughs> Delhi, we're after you again yes. for Antonio Alfano. They do have yeah. some good stuff. And stuff too. Awesome so. stuff. Yeah. And then finally your expectations for the year. Um, expectations for the year. Um, I, I just, I think we're ready for a national title. Good. I think this team's ready. I think we're, I think we're, we're going to go get it. Um, 
and yeah, I'm, I'm just ready to, to, to contribute. Yeah. Really and I just want to say, you know, I get starstruck sometimes. So I, I didn't know, I knew who you were before you got on campus in the, mm -hmm. during the winter time, but I didn't know you know you. Mm -hmm. And then I let you come in the weight room early. I was nice mm -hmm. to you. And then I really found out who you were, like mm -hmm. when I got your name. Mm -hmm. And then so kudos to me though, for not <laughs> just being like, oh, you come, but, yeah. um, we're excited to have you. We made it. You made a promise to me that I'd be able to get you to see football in this uniform on this field. So mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Have a great year. Thank we you. We look coach. forward to it. Thank All right. Antonio Alfano, Lackawanna Falcon defensive lineman. Thank you. Falcon Media Day. Take flight.